A couple of weeks ago, I contacted Schwinn Support in regards to this bike, the Schwinn Boundary Electric. I reviewed a Schwinn Boundary Electric a year ago. We'll put a link to that review down in the description. They sent their new 2023 version, which it turns out is the same as that other bike, with one exception. This particular one arrived with a battery that was DOA. It will not turn on. And that led to my call with Schwinn Support and me giving them five stars for a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons, they listened. Important for technical support to listen. A lot of them do not. They listened and in quick order determined and agreed with me that this was a battery that was not functional and said they were shipping me a new battery. And I bragged about that because I got the shipping tracking information just a few hours after that call on a Friday. The battery was delivered the following Monday. That's one business day. Now, obviously, that can vary geographically. I'm in Florence, Alabama. I got it in one business day, three days overall because it was a weekend. That's pretty fast, especially if you've just bought a new bike, which from technical support's perspective was the case because it wasn't until the end of the call that I disclosed I was a reviewer. But if you buy a new bike, something goes wrong, you want fast resolution, I do. One business day, that's not bad, or over the weekend. So now I'm gonna cut to me getting that new battery because there are extenuating circumstances and that's what this video is about. So I'll edit out the main part. I was gonna make a video about unboxing and proper packaging of a battery because this was double boxed. But I'll cut to that right now and you'll see what happened when I unboxed the replacement for this battery. Let's see. Here's the new one, fresh out of the box. Clearly identical, so that's good. Again, no fuse, just looking it over and just so you know it's identical. There you go, so here's the moment of truth. What the heck? Maybe this one needs to be charged too? Okay, something is clearly going on here because this one won't even charge. So I guess I'm gonna call Schwinn support real quick and then I'll come back and give you more details. Wow. Yeah, another DOA battery. What are the odds of that? So you can see why I'm making this video because that has to be pretty slim odds. In all my bike reviews, I've never had a bad battery, which really says something overall for the quality of batteries. But I was curious, is there something wrong with me? Did I just forget something in the year it was between me reviewing that old bike and this one? Am I missing a step? So I promptly called technical support again. Said, hey, you're not gonna believe it, but the replacement battery doesn't work either. Now this time I did disclose that I was a reviewer. They would have seen it in the notes anyway, but I got a very nice technical support agent. I won't mention their name because I didn't ask their permission to give their name, but they started going through technical support with me again. We walked through all the same basic steps and they too started questioning if maybe I had another DOA battery and the odds of that being so small so they started escalating or doing back checks, contacting the warehouse. They were having them while they were on the phone with me, open up some other batteries and test those. And in the process of them having me on hold, an idea struck. You know, one thing that I can do, I make videos. So why don't I make a video showing them my process, I'm trying to turn on the battery, using the original one, using the new one, and see if maybe they can see where the problem is, if there in fact is a problem with me. They agreed, that would be a good video. So I made that and I'm gonna, this is behind the scenes stuff. I'm gonna share the video that I sent to Schwinn Support. I'm gonna mute out the person's name. So if you hear audio cuts, that's why. But now I'm gonna go to that, let you watch that. And we'll come back and talk about a few things. Talk about a few battery things. Okay. Here's what we have going on. This is the original battery and you can see there are no switches. That is the charge port, nothing like that. There's just a retention thing up top. And if I press it, no light. I can press and hold 
no light, no anything, dead. And when I plug it up to the charger, I'll show you that in just a second. But let me get to the replacement battery, which was 0010. You can see the same battery, but when I press, nothing. And I will mention, a little side note, this has a clicky button. This is not very clicky, so could even be a button issue. Let me try pressing and holding down. I don't know if you heard it click when I pressed hard, but it does nothing. So that's the new battery. Now let me get them on the charger and I'll show you that. Here's the original charger, but I'm going to use the brand new one here. So I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to plug the charger into the wall. And you can see it's just a solid green light. It does nothing in some batteries. Sometimes you have to turn them on to charge. But because these won't turn on, it does nothing. And I've even left them sit for like 30 minutes or at least let this one sit for 30 minutes. But that's the old battery. So let me unplug this charger. And let me plug up the new battery. That was the 0010. That's the new battery. Okay, so that's plugged up. Plug it into the wall. And you can see it's just green light. It never goes red. So bizarre. And the odds of that, unless there's a bad batch of batteries or something, which I really sincerely hope doesn't happen. But anyway. That's where I'm at right now, and I've tried three different chargers. I have multiples of these same chargers, but of course this is the latest one they sent, which will be the third, but anyway, hope this helps out. They watched that video just like you did, and then things started getting escalated up. I believe two tiers, or at least a multiple different people, in support at Schwinn, and they determined that, yeah, it looks like, you have two DOA batteries or two batteries that will not work and they are working on a resolution. And this took part over two, I believe maybe even three days that we're going through support, maybe, maybe just two days. But we were going through emails or at least I was receiving emails where they were working on possible resolutions and I was curious myself, how do you spin this? What's the positive resolution for this? Because let's look at this from a consumer standpoint, which is how I approach everything. I've just paid money for this bike and I can't ride it. And then you get five stars from me as a customer and get me a replacement battery only to have the same problem and technically maybe even another one because the button on this one, as I mentioned in that video, doesn't even feel and sound clicky like this one. So what are the odds of this going on and how do you fix that? Let's go over their potential options here before I show you their resolution. Well, there are a couple of options coming from a previous technical support background and quality control background. I would want to see these batteries, but from a customer perspective, I wouldn't want to send these batteries back and then have to wait for them to get them and test it out and all that. So I think that's probably not gonna happen. Are they gonna send me a third battery? That's my most likely suspicion. But again, you know, I have two bad ones. Am I gonna get a third bad one and drag this out even further? Well, they went an entire different route. Let me show you their resolution. A whole new bike, yeah. They sent an entire new Schwinn Boundary Electric. Okay, I'm gonna stop that me and cut to Today Me because Today Me has more information. After that video was published, I was contacted by Schwinn. And I'm not talking Schwinn technical support calling me back. I'm talking about those people at Schwinn that I know the names of, but I just don't get to speak to. And they gave me some information that I consider a little bit of behind the scenes information but also gave me a couple of quotes here. Quote number one, we have confirmed this issue was isolated to a small number of batteries. These units have been quarantined and will no longer ship. So you don't have to worry if you're a consumer buying a bike that's out on the market or sold at Walmart 
it will have a good battery. And the second thing is that this is not all Schwinn e-bikes. And I know why they said this, because my title said Schwinn e-bikes at Walmart, when in fact this pertains specifically to the Boundary Electric men's 27.5 and men's 29 models. There's one right there. So it's only those two models and it was only a small batch of batteries in those two models. I just happened to get two of them. So hey, rare collectibles, rare collectibles. Should I put these on these? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I have rarities here, rare birds. So I wanted to share that information with you. And also again, point out, I have a box bike that's donated from Schwinn. It's gonna be going right to the trail nonprofit. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna contact them now that they've identified all the batteries that are bad and quarantined those. I'm gonna see if I can get another battery for this bike and donate that too, rather than it just being a parts bike. That's a win-win for Schwinn. Ooh, that's a Schwinn, W-I-N-N. -N. Yeah, see what I did there? I should trademark that and license it to them. Anyway, there you go. Official word from Schwinn. Thank you so much for watching this channel. I did pull down that last video because I knew I was going to be editing an update once I started getting more information. So if you commented on that video, you might want to comment on this one with whatever you said. That way, you know, we're doing the people's work here, the consumer's work. That way your voice can still be heard. Or if you have any new comments based on today's video, this information, be sure to put that down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. That always helps the channel. Thank you for watching Kev Central and have a great day.